Hi Aries, I'm Eddie Rose for Psychic Future. This is your horoscope from the 13th to the 19th of January. So this week Venus is moving into Pisces. So we're having a shift into a water sign and I am here by the Kaligandaki River in Nepal uh, to talk about this water energy that we're moving into. So we have got so much Capricorn energy going on still. So we're thinking about the future, we're pushing, we've got our goals, we've got our to-do lists and we're kind of thinking what can we do with 2020 now. But with Venus moving into Pisces, it's gonna kind of soften that a little bit and it's gonna allow us to perhaps um, have a little bit more compassion for ourselves. Maybe we've been too hard on ourselves over 2019 and even in these first couple of weeks of 2020, maybe you've been kind of pushing yourself quite hard and thinking, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that and I'm gonna change 2020 and I'm gonna do all these like different things that it's a little bit heavy energy. Now Venus has moved into Pisces, it's kind of encouraging us to be softer on ourselves, to allow ourselves to rest, to allow ourselves to be calm and to nurture ourselves and to be a little bit creative as well. So not to think so much in this Capricorn energy of like doing something, uh, but thinking like, okay, well maybe I can do like half half. Maybe I can push really, really hard on one day and then take it a little bit easier on another day to kind of think outside of the box. Um, in our relationships, it's going to bring quite a lot of compassion. So um, if you have felt a little bit distant from people, then you'll start to feel a closeness. Um, you will be able to understand people a little bit better and to kind of like merge yourself a little bit with the people around you, which is quite nice. Um, especially because January can be quite a cold and lonely month because we've had all this like Christmas celebration and now all of a sudden it's like nothing. Um, so Venus in Pisces is actually really nice. Uh, and just to kind of bring it back to where I am right now, um, the Hindus actually celebrate this time of year. Um, it's a really famous festival and they like gather in like thousands of people to celebrate water. Um, and this is basically, uh, they come to this river as well, lots of other rivers um, to celebrate the qualities of water. So it'll be things like, yeah, compassion, family, divine, our connection to, um, yeah, like the other world. Uh, so yeah, connections to God, all of this kind of stuff. Um, and it's like, forgetting the day-to-day -day things that Capricorn has represented for us and just giving ourselves up to something bigger. Um, so that is your theme for this week. And um, yeah, hopefully you can kind of dive into it a little bit. You've got enough time to do that. And yeah, tune in next week.